Miss Ava Bratz is immersing herself in fall. As the temperatures drop, there are plenty of ways to enjoy the outdoors with friends and family. Get out there and make those memories. Uh, Ava, what's happening at the farm today? A little bit of everything. That's exactly right. Sunflowers, come get your sunflowers. Beautiful to look at, and you can take them home or get lost in them, Josh, with the sunflower mazes. How many are out here? This is beautiful. A bunch. Maybe uh, 100,000 or so. Woo. So I don't think we're going to run out. I don't think so. And the really beautiful thing about sunflowers, turning their heads to the sun, so they're beautiful to look at, but lots to know about them. Yeah, they're a really important uh, crop for farmers in the Midwest. So they, that's where uh, sunflower seeds come from, not only that we eat, but for bird seed. And then, of course, the oils used in cooking. So really important crop. Definitely. And that's uh, just a small part of what people can learn on kind of your agricultural tours and elements you put in the farm here. Yeah, absolutely. So we do have uh, a few classes for people to uh, engage in. So one of them is uh, a floral design class that uh, we have a professional florist come in and do that. We also have uh, a terrarium uh, class for folks that wanted to uh, design those things, uh, a, a pumpkin carving class. And then uh, beyond that, we do school uh, tours where we teach them about agriculture, about plants and how they grow hmm. and uh, how important they are for us and for the environment. Yeah. Well, you know, teaching kids about that can be a little complex. So how do you kind of boil it down to some big points that our viewers can take away from today? Yeah, it is uh, tough, but uh, I've got four kids of my own, so yeah. you kind of have to be able to speak on their level. So, <laughs> But anyways, basically the plants do things we can't. They absorb sunlight, which creates energy, and they can create something for us to eat mm -hmm. or other things for us to use, fiber and fuel. Definitely. Now, talking about these mazes... I can kind of see out, but once you're in the thick of it, how do you get back? Is there a map you get when you arrive or an app or something? We haven't lost anyone yet, so uh, <laughs> we, we will find you if you get lost. But no, it's it's not too bad of a maze, and if you're over about four foot tall, you can see over it uh, if you need to. So. There you go. That's knock on wood. Haven't lost anybody yet. Well, you know, launching into the fall season, first for pumpkins, you know, what are you most excited about? I know we talked a little bit earlier on just, you know, obviously bringing agriculture here, but what else? I just uh, love the excitement that we see, especially on the kids' faces when they get to, uh, you know, be out on the farm and see kind of the beauty of it. And mm -hmm. we hope that it points to the glory of God and the things that he created. And um, so, yeah, that's that's probably what I get out of it the most. Absolutely. Well, as we're heading into the fall season, you know, Christmas is coming up. It does kind of center you. So is fall your favorite season, you'd say? I love them all. But, yeah, something special about fall as the temperatures cool down and harvest a lot of uh, different kind of crops. And it's a, it's a good thing that reminds us of how blessed we are. Mm-hmm. We are definitely in God's country, Josh. I mean, just over a half hour drive from Greenville. What else is around this area? Sure. Uh, several different things. We have some other farmer neighbors. Um, our neighbors across the road grow peaches. Yeah. Of course, apples are coming in now, and so we'll have apples just up the road in Hendersonville. But um, there's definitely lots to do when you get up into North Spartanburg, North Greenville County. And so we just